Yeah. Back. Back. Back with another freaking video. Back with another freaking video. Bring you another one of these trillion videos. What'd you say? I feel like some of my lip. She was like, that's that little extra spit Trill. people get. Yeah. Like, how you get that little yeah. extra spit right there? Yeah. One of these trillion <laughs> videos, man. Bring you another one of those trillion ones, man. Before we get started, baby, go ahead and bring them on in. Y'all, so glad to be back. What is going on, y'all? This is your girl, Snapper Red. And it's your boy, Sibo. Been missing y'all. So glad to be back. Ready to get this thing started. We got some comedy. And who do we have up next? So I saw this. It said the only white comedian for a black crowd. Interesting. So we about to hear this. Yeah, let's do this. Because you got to be good. That boy good. That boy good. Let's see. Thank Can you hear? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hey, what up to you? How are you, buddy? You brought nuggets to the show. <laughs> a bold move. I like that. See some good to hear man thigh up front. Nice. <laughs> you cannot have your thighs out and you in the front row. Okay. You, you he said a man thigh. Because that's complete roastville. You're confident, man. You Because you, you wear tight clothes and you're big, you know. <laughs> So here's clothes look like the net on a ham. <laughs> oh, that is to here. <laughs> he said the net on a ham. <laughs> wow. And that is to here. is another comedian. I just zoomed in who that was. A net on a ham. <laughs> That's like yeah. no room, no room. <laughs> Keep your yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having me, everybody. Uh, I was supposed Kev to on be stage. on earlier in the show, but they have to wait till the sun goes down. So I don't get washed out on camera. So we need a little contrast. Uh, you may not remember me, but about a half an hour ago, uh, Jonathan, a legend, uh, didn't know I was on the show. <laughs> I was the white guy in the crowd that he referred to. You know what I mean, white guy? And <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh my god. We met 15 minutes before that and I know you didn't confuse me with anyone else here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody dying. And then you gave me permission to say the N-word, which you gotta have context for that, you know? Right. My last name is Nickerson. I've always had a delicate relationship with that word. <laughs> you find me a more important K in history than the one in Nickerson. You gotta land that. You gotta Ooh. stick that like Simone Biles. You gotta... Bruh, that's crazy. <laughs> Can't um, slur that. I'm just here. Can't slur that. <laughs> I'm just here on the months that Kev doesn't want to pay for Gary Owen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the budget Gary Owen. I get budget it. Gary. Great value I Gary Owen. <laughs> Great value Gary Owen. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. This has been a this is fun. This has been a year, man. What a year. What a stupid year but you know that little Nas X story is encouraging it is it's encouraging me because I think he's going to bring the people together because traditionally worshipping the devil is kind of a white person thing it's kind of <laughs> that's been our jam for a long time that's we've kind of had the monopoly on Satan worship honestly I didn't know. I thought it was going to be Jesus, but it might be Lucifer that brings us together. I didn't know. <laughs> he tripping. That was he what was going to bring the people, but it did. Because cause I remember when that, all that was going on, that was such a big uproar and people was talking about it. But, and then people who do believe in that like feel like, oh, yeah, now we're finally getting a spotlight to shine, shine on, yeah. that, on, on this culture. Right, on this place. Uh-huh. No. No. 
I'm glad though that we're kind of getting through this because it's you know as bad as the years it's been like you know everyone's just fighting over stuff all the time and the mask I'm so tired of people fighting over the mask right like I know a lot of people are very dramatic about not wearing it and I think that's hilarious people go this one you ever heard this one people don't want to go the mask is a nightmare <laughs> the mask is a nightmare <laughs> really a nightmare your life has been pretty good if the mask is a nightmare. Right. Right, real good. Nothing says my parents stay together like the mask is a nightmare. <laughs> been pretty smooth sailing for you. Yeah. I like this one too. I, you know, I was recently touring the South. They go, they, they give you a hard time in certain places for wearing the mask. You know, I got this one a lot, a lot. They go, you know what? Hey, you know what? Take that mask off. You're just living in fear. I've, yeah, that's that, what you do. That, you're just that, living that. in fear. Living in fear. I go, really? What are all so, those guns for? That's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> right. Huh? Yeah. Feel like we might all have some apprehensions in our lives. Right. <laughs> Even the train like that joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. I don't I can't pull that off. I wish I was good white guy like hype energy. I wish I was the white comic that could hype up a black crowd with like high energy, you know? Like I could just get up here, you know, to the window. To, no, that's not me. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work, you know? Look at me. You look at me and you just be like, that guy loves a good acoustic guitar song about a river. And I do. <laughs> I love a song about a river. Oh. It's in my blood. We're all trying. Everyone's trying in their own different way, you know. I'm pretty excited about everything going on right now because uh, I heard it's gonna be white boy summer. <laughs> <laughs> big news. That's big news. <laughs> People have been saying forever that the problem with society is poor people having kids. Have you ever met a rich kid? <laughs> Tom Hanks is the best human on the earth and his kid is a disaster, a disaster. <laughs> Rich, uh, white boy summer? I, I don't mean to brag, but you know what? All the summers have been white boy summers. <laughs> All of them, except maybe last summer. That was a bad one for us. That, that wasn't our, and it started bad. It's because it started with Tiger King Spring and went downhill. Oh went, man. <laughs> Carol Baskin. <I'm laughs> Bruh. It did. The pandemic did kick off with the Tiger King. It did. It kicked off. <laughs> it kicked off the, let me tell you, two movies. Two, oh my God. Two entertainment things that it kicked off with Tiger King and a, and a movie Outbreak. Where the two oh, ways that's everything right. kicked off of in the beginning of the pandemic. Yep. Outbreak. Yeah. And now, and now he's acting like we get like reparations. <laughs> This is our year. Okay. Yeah, I had you guys, and then I said reparations, and they're like, nope, we're done there. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> we got away. We're already tipped. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Bring it back. All right, that's my back. time. Thanks so much, everybody. You guys are wonderful. Um, that's funny. He was kind of funny. Yeah. He, um, he was kind of funny. Back. What was the funniest take you take from that? Hmm. Whoever the guy was, and he was joking in the front. Until I thought kind of starting off with the nuggets and the thighs. And, See, I thought he and was being tight in ham. I kind of that was See, a good way to get going. He should. He got. He got it crunk off with the right way. But I feel mm -hmm. like he should have kept that notch at that level. Mm -hmm. Kind of crunk it up just a little bit because it was like he crunk it up like, oh, this you know this about the funny. He get on. He said. Your legs look like ham with the net on it. Yeah. But he kind of let it kind of go, go down and it pick up a little bit more. But it start off like, oh, they're about to be funny. This white boy about to be about to yeah. crush it. So it was good. I think he should have, you know, just kept it up at that highest pace. Fought it, fought it, you know, pushed it higher like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I agree completely. I mean, it was making me laugh, but it wasn't like some of the others that have really, really. Had me rolling. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I like his energy and his willingness to keep trying. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I really like. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, man.
So that was the only white comedian for a black crowd, man. Baby, go ahead and send them on home. We're going to go ahead and end this on out. Hopefully, guys, we can do more of these. Maybe he'll have someone that are a little bit funnier. But this was I never know. I don't know because I don't, I don't listen to it beforehand. Right. So I don't it know. jumped off, you know, pretty, pretty funny. But thanks so much for hanging out with us, y'all, for sticking with us, for joining us. And don't forget to smash the like button and share this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.